This is a decision under international humanitarian law binding covenant which the UK, Sweden and the United States for the most part have agreed to. The UN last night issued a statement stating that the determination is legally binding. Yes. 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 Bravo. yes. Bravo. There have been comments from Philip Hammond, the foreign minister of this country uh, today, saying uh, this changes nothing. Philip Hammond, as an individual, I think he's a perfectly nice person, but we must understand that those comments are merely rhetoric. There is no argument in this change of nothing. Uh, it is not stating that the UK will pull out of the working group uh, in its determination, or the Human Rights Council, or even that it refuses to recognise the result. The fact is, the UK and Sweden accepted to be parties to a 16-month process, 16 months of litigation before the Working Group on Arbitrary Detention. I made submissions. The UK responded in the process to those submissions. Sweden responded to those submissions, formally as a party to the proceedings. They lost. Yes. Bravo. Yes. Sweden lost. It lost at the highest level. It then had an opportunity to appeal. UK did not appeal. Sweden did not appeal. That opportunity was two weeks long uh, and just ended uh, today. Today is the day where there can be no appeal. No appeal was filed. Why was no appeal filed? The UK and Sweden have had this judgment uh, for the past two weeks. Uh, I and the public received it today. They did not file an appeal in that two week period. Why? Because they knew they would lose. Because there are no grounds for appeal. Because the law is well established and documented in this comprehensive binding judgment by the working group on arbitrary detention. Uh, now, this result, uh, which lays out the circumstances and the law and the abusive law behind my five and a half years of detention without charge in this country 
didn't come about by itself. It came about as a result of those UN mechanisms, the support for them, uh, and as a result of people uh, struggling for them. It came about as a result of uh, government uh, and people uh, and president uh, of Ecuador protecting me while we had that 16-month struggle. Uh, it came about uh, as a result of the efforts of my legal team. It came about as a result of the efforts of uh, the broad community uh, in this country uh, and in Sweden uh, and the United States and in Australia and in India and other countries around the world. So let me read the conclusion from uh, the judgment. The deprivation of liberty of Mr. Assange is arbitrary and in contravention of Articles 9 and 10 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and Article 7, 9, Paragraph 1, 9, Paragraph 3, 9, Paragraph 4, 10 and 14 of the International Covenant of Civil and Political Rights, both binding treaties to which the UK and Sweden are parties. It falls within Category 3 of the categories applicable to the consideration of the cases submitted to the Working Group. The Working Group considers that, taking into account all the circumstances of the case, the adequate remedy would be to ensure the right of free movement of Mr. Assange and accord him an enforceable right to compensation in accordance with Articles 9, Paragraph 5 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. Bravo! 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 Now I don't, in some ways, having been involved uh, in the exposure of corruption and war crimes in government uh, for nearly 20 years, uh, it doesn't come as a shock uh, to see the type of injustice you've been in the business of exposing uh, inflicted on yourself. That's part of my work. I am tough, I am hardened by this process, in fact, uh, and I can take it. However, what right does this government, or the US government, or the Swedish government have to deny my children their father for five and a half years? Yes. Yes. yes! Shame on our government! Without Shame on the United Kingdom! Any charges in any country. That, that is, that is a, a fact that I will never forget. And which must be addressed. And which will be addressed as time goes by. My children are completely innocent party to what has happened. They are not in politics. They are not in politics. They are not in the business of holding government to account. They are in the business of being children. And it is time that they had their father back. Yes, yes, yes. 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 We demand the right for Julian Assange. And that will happen. And, and, can someone close that person up? That will happen, one way or the other. One way or the other, it will happen. And a lot of people have very long memories about the parties that have committed injustices in this case. And inevitably, inevitably, those people will face the consequences of their actions, including, as of today, and the release of this verdict, an opportunity under the CAT, the Convention uh, Against Torture, which is a binding treaty uh, with universal jurisdiction, if this uh, illegal, immoral, unethical, 
uh, detention continues, there will be criminal consequences for the parties involved, and those consequences can be taken in any state because the CAT has universal jurisdiction. Now, finally, I want to say that there are good people in the UK government. There are good people in the Foreign Office. There are good people in the British Police. There are good people in the Swedish Foreign Ministry. There are good people in the US State Department. There are even good people in the US military. It is partly due to those good people and their ongoing support in a variety of ways that has led to this victory. And those people are wise to understand uh, that history is on their side. And I am very grateful uh, for the assistance that they have given today. Thank you. Okay. Can I get out? Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Okay. Julian, amigo, el pueblo está contigo. Julian, amigo, el pueblo está contigo. Julian, amigo, el pueblo.